Conditional formatting makes key information in your sheets instantly visible faster. When you're the admin or owner of a sheet, you can set up simple rules to automatically apply formatting to particular cells or entire rows based on the data in your sheet. To create a conditional formatting rule, click on the conditional formatting button on the toolbar and then select Add New Rule. First, set the condition for your rule. Conditions are set at the column level, so you'll first select the column that you want to drive the condition, then set the condition. For example, say we want to format completed tasks, so we want the condition to be when the status column is complete. If the condition is met for a cell, the rule will apply your format to the entire row or to specific cells within that row. Next, click this format to set the formatting for your rule. In Gantt, Calendar, and Card Views, conditional formatting can update the color of the taskbar. In Grid View, you can change the text's font, size, style, color, and background color. In this case, we'll strike through completed tasks. By default, the formatting will be applied to the entire row, but you can specify individual cells by selecting an individual column. You can always see a preview of the applied formatting in the Rule Builder. To make a rule with multiple conditions, click on the drop-down arrow next to the rule and select Add Condition. When there are multiple conditions for a rule, all conditions must be met for the rule to apply. For example, say we want to highlight the due date for tasks that are incomplete and past due. Click Add New Rule and set the condition of the status column as Not Complete. Next, select Add Condition and set this condition to End Date is in the past. Then, set your formatting if both conditions are met. We'll make cells that meet these criteria red and bold, so they really stand out. By default, conditional formatting rules apply to the entire row, so we'll also change the formatting to apply to the due date column. When you're done with the rule builder, click OK and save your sheet. The conditional formatting is applied immediately. You can edit a conditional formatting rule at any time by clicking on one of the rule's components. You can clone, disable, or delete a rule. When you save your sheet as new or as a template, the conditional formatting rules will transfer so you won't need to rewrite the rules. And that's how conditional formatting makes key information in your sheets instantly visible faster.